Hey there girl, welcome back to my channel. Thank you everyone for being with me here today. This is going to be a tarot reading looking into your situation. So whatever sort of quite prominent in your life right now, whatever's sort of going on, it's been on your mind, you know, you're wondering how things are going to play out. Uh, this reading is going to be about that. So we'll see what the cards can reveal, um, any sort of advice or what you can expect as the situation progresses. Now, before I begin, I just wanted to say, if there's anyone out there after a private reading, please feel free to email me. I am currently accepting those. Uh, also, please subscribe to the channel um, and join my lovely little YouTube family. That would be, that would be very much appreciated. Uh, feel free to drop a like if you enjoy this content and you want to see more. Um, otherwise, you can sign up for channel membership um, and this will give you access to any extended readings, any sort of bonus readings I put out to members only. So um, that's sort of like a subscription. So feel free to sign up for that, uh, Virgo. Otherwise, let's give the cards a good shuffle and see your current situation, where you're at. What is, what is this situation and how is it presenting itself? With, let's lay out a card for overall energy and see what comes up. Okay, overall energy is the three of wands. So it seems like this is something pretty critical because it's going to impact your future or it's about your future. So you might be aware of this. You might not be aware of this, Virgo. It can be around a fire sign, but I think whatever you're going through, um, it's going to impact what you saw yourself doing in the long-term future. Not so much the knee. It's more the future that's far away, so that's why I think it's distant. Um, or it can be like multiple options and people coming up. Um, overall, I feel like the underlying message is you've, there's a choice for you to make. Uh, and it's like you have to think super carefully about this because it has the potential to change um, your future. It also has the potential for the four of ones. So to go to the three, to the four, um, this is somehow impacting someone you could end up with or married to. I don't know if there's marriage plans that are coming up uh, or you've spoken about marriage with your person. It could be a Sagittarius. Um, it's almost like... It's almost like you have to be true to what you want and you have to be honest with yourself here. Now, this isn't an easy task and I can see you've been in your mind a lot. Um, and I feel like you've ignored some red flags. I do. This, these red wings of the angel, this two of swords that is it has the blindfold on. Okay, you've, you've possibly ignored some things that you know could be an issue later on in the, tr later on, uh, in the track. Okay, down the track. Uh, this could be like about like marriage or, or kids sort of settling down or what the relationship, the kind of relationship you want. And what I'm seeing here is that there's something that's come to light. This is it, Virgo. This is right here. Some sort of piece of information or a conversation you've had with your person. Uh, and it's suddenly dawned on you that, you know, you've had this realization and now you're like, okay, well, what do I do with this? How am I going to proceed forward in the connection? And some of you, I see you assessing your other options and that's not necessarily a bad thing. There's two fours here. So I want you to think about yourself. I want you to think about a lot of a lot of you have have been putting this other person in front of you in front of your own needs and the whole idea of them being in your life you know it's all it's all wonderful and amazing but it doesn't answer the question of do they fulfill you can they give you what you want uh because i see a lot of you are about to invest and commit and you could be committing for a few years, you could be committing for a few months, a few decades. But is it going to give you what you want at the end of it? What's your return on this investment? Think of this relationship or whatever this is as an investment. What is going to be the return? Okay, is it going to be a juicy return? Is it going to be what you want? Um, are you going to see returns? Are you going to see dividends? You need to think of it in that way. Because... The temperance, the temperance card, you obviously have this, this connection 
and you're getting twin flame vibes from this person you you've pictured yourself getting married or being with them for the long haul but there's just something that's almost like there's a seed of doubt here virgo and i'm wondering what this is what this is that's making you question whether this person is right for you and what is it that they're doing that's making you sort of be that two of swords and like you're not seeing these red flags or you're not seeing these bad tendencies you need to keep an eye out on them because they can come back and bite you in the bum and you'd rather you know some of you you'd rather pull out early you'd rather get out earlier than getting hurt and being committed and setting up a life together and not getting what you want um i think you need to be honest with yourself but also with them you know if this is i feel like it's a, it's a conversation that needs to happen about being upfront and being honest uh, and, you know, you should say what you want. The sun is the self. So there's honesty with the self. But also I'm getting, you need, like, this is a conversation that used to happen about what you want and you need to tell them what it is. You know, you shouldn't feel bad about what you want. You know, if you, if you want remarriage or you want more children or you want, you know, whatever it is, it's something that's important to you. It's something that's sacred to you. Um, you know, that, that temperance card is, is sacred. Uh, and, you know, it's about not getting mad at this person if they're not wanting the same things. You know, sometimes they don't want the same things or sometimes you don't want what they want. And, you know, there's there's no right or wrong here. Sometimes it's a case of right person, wrong time. Maybe not right now. Maybe the cards are telling you there's there's another chance. Okay, that I feel like with the four of cups, there might be another chance that could come unexpectedly. Uh, in the future when maybe you both are ready maybe there's some reassurance here and maybe it'll be so much better than what it is now or what it has been before because i feel like some of you it's causing you anxiety the moon is here and subconsciously on a very deep subconscious level here virgo that isn't what you want that's something that they're doing or something that they don't want and it is putting you off in a way because it doesn't align with what you want and i think i think there needs to be like a, a serious conversation where you need to sit down with yourself maybe away from this person uh maybe take a few days away or you know i see some of you maybe distancing yourselves and sort of taking that time to think about things uh, and that's what's going to get you by, I feel. That's what what's sort of going to uh, push you push you through uh, to the, to the other side. I feel like that's what I'm seeing. I think it's something that needs to happen. I do. Uh, I feel like it's a conversation that sort of needs to happen with yourself, but away from them. Like I said. Uh, otherwise, you know, they're just gonna, they're just gonna distract you. The Queen of Swords is very ideological. It's all about the idea or the status for her, for, for that Queen of Swords, or mentally. It's telling me mentally. Uh, mentally, yes, it is, it is about these thoughts that you, that you're having. And it's about this idea, like the idea of marriage, the idea of being in a relationship, the idea of being with someone like this. But there is more to it. There's there's fine print here and you have to read the fine print um, before you sign the deal. So before you go any further, this is something you need to know. Um, and I really, I really want you to not neglect what you want for yourself and your needs, the future that you saw. Um, because you do have a vision of that four of wands. You have something very, very particular that you've imagined for yourself or that you have um, aligned yourself with into your experience. And you're like, okay, well, I want to have this and I, and I want X, Y, and Z and I want that. So I think seeing this, it's powerful in a sense because, because why? 
it's powerful because you you it's in your vibration i think you've you've attracted it um but there's there's just there's just some other things that i feel like you need to um you need to consider before going any further with this person or even like with yourself because then then i feel like you know so i, I see some of you being disappointed in yourself going why didn't i do this earlier you know i had that opportunity to think i ha i had that option but or, or i had this time when i could have left or when i could have said something or when i could have spoken up and, and told them that this is a deal breaker because i do feel like there could be a deal breaker here for you i do i keep thinking about that word uh didn't really want to say it but i think it's more on your end um and i think yeah it could really really change things uh for you so i think it's important to to do this And, you know, I also see a conversation playing out where you might speak up and say your truth and then your person might just completely shut you down. And then you're going to be like, wow, they couldn't even handle what I had to say. Like that says a lot about them. I see them potentially running away from or avoiding a situation. Um, so for some of you Virgos out there, this person has been avoiding it. And maybe that's a red flag in itself. The fact that they can't open up or they can't handle your truth or maybe they don't even know what they want. You know, that's that's super confusing so the honesty has to come from not only you but also from their side otherwise how will you both ever move forward in this situation it'll be really really tough i'll wrap it up there virgo so you've got some thinking to do that's your homework um from this reading um, so thank you again everyone for watching i do hope this has been helpful uh, if you're after a private reading and some personal guidance please feel free to email me uh, also uh please subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you on board. Um, so thank you everyone so much for all your love and support and we shall be in touch soon. So lots of love and bye for now.